Hi, everybody. Hopefully you can hear us. Actually, there's no one on yet, so you probably won't hear. Let me see. I'm on, but I don't see that I'm on here. Doesn't it take a little while? Probably, yeah. We have one person who's on. Linda Luther. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Can you, <clears throat> excuse me, can you tell us if you can hear us? I'm sure you can hear me. So also say if you can hear me. And also can you hear Tara? We are a woman down today. Someone got tickets to something or other. There was some confusion about what the name of it was, and I still don't know. But the LPGA. Okay. Friend is at the LPGA today. Um, she got last-minute surprise tickets, so we sent her off to have fun, and hopefully it's not too cold for her. We're having a cold snap here, and she wants to They can warm. barely hear you. They can barely hear me. Yeah. So. Do you think it's your microphone? It's green. How's how's Irene as far as being able to hear? You're good. Yeah, they can hear me, can but see my, is mine green? Yes, you are green. I will speak up, and hopefully that will be better. Um, always offer feedback if you can't hear me because I don't want to talk without you being able to hear me. So um, it's better thumbs now. Up, thumbs up. Okay, I will try to keep talking loud. It's not in my nature, but I'll use my diaphragm like my high school uh, chorus teacher taught. So, for those of you who are just coming on, welcome to our Facebook Live. My name is Tara Tom, and we are here in sunny western New York. Um, we've got some fun stuff to show you today, some old stuff, some new stuff, and some announcements. So, um, why don't we get started? So. I don't know how many of you have noticed that I'm wearing something a little bit odd. Um, Irene and I did not decide to just dress down today, and, or nor did we wake up late and roll out of bed and come here. But um, we are announcing our next sale, which is on Saturday, which is called Pajama Palooza. And some of you may remember we did it last year, but um, there's just one rule and that is in order to save, you have to come in your pajamas. Now you can change out of them in the bathroom if you want to before you go home. But um, it's a super fun event and um, we're gonna have someone at the door giving out tickets based on what time you got here because there are times as far as um, what you're gonna save. So if you get here between seven and eight a.m., you're gonna save 35%. It's a great opportunity to get that um, kind of splurge gift that you want or backies or whatever. Um, if you get here between 8 and 9, save 30%. Between 9 and 10, 25%. And then 10 is our normal, op normal opening time. So from 10 until 2 p.m., which is closing time, um, the savings is going to be 20%. So, um, yes, and Irene is reminding me you need to wear your pajamas. So, don't come in your plain clothes and think that you're gonna be able to uh, save. We, we know what pajamas look like. So um, hopefully we'll see you all on Saturday. And um, that's all I have about that. Is there anything that I'm forgetting, Irene? I don't think so. Okay. So we're gonna have our, our cool <coughs> friend Molly at the door. She's gonna be um, our bouncer. And then um, we hope to see you on Saturday. And Irene, is gonna talk about our next thing. I'm gonna grab my water. All right, sounds good. I'm a little harsh today. Me too. Good morning. I have my jammies on. Again, for pajama day, it's a fun way to save some money. And it feels so good not to have to be all dressed up. So, though I have to say that I got dressed up to put my pajamas on, but that's okay. All right. The one thing that you might see behind me is my farm quilt. And I love this fabric. I absolutely, having grown up on a farm, I just, oh, 
I love it. So it is one of many three yard quilts. And if you're familiar with Fabric Cafe, you have three yard quilts. You do three cuts of one yard each to make the quilt. And it makes the whole front and it does include binding. However, I want to give you a caveat there that in the directions they do a single fold binding. I never do a single fold binding. Binding takes the edge of your quilt is what gets the most wear and tear. So I would get a little bit extra of the one you like to do the binding or a totally different one. I got, a, I got the red barn to do my binding so it stood out um, because you won't have enough with single unless you want to do single fold binding. To be perfectly honest, I've never done single fold binding. I don't even know how to do it. I'm assuming it's similar, but I don't even know how to do it. So three one yard quilts. Here we have the one that's behind me. And it has our cows and then the white for the pinwheels and the grass green. Okay, you'll notice that we didn't include the binding in here. So if you want binding, you need to get it. The other thing I want to show you is the back. I love this fabric. I just love it. Is it showing up in the... the yeah. Okay. Good. So if you want this kit and you want this fabric to put on the back, you're going to want to get here soon because it's getting down. Okay. So just to let you know that if you buy that one and you want that backing, now, if you buy a three yard bundle, and we have, I don't know, four or five different ones right now, you get the pattern for free. And just to show you, here's the one I did, okay? And flip it around so they can see ones on the back, because those are kind of cool. I never saw those before. So there's different ways to do it. You could buy three. If you don't want these bundles, you could buy three yards and, and pick the pattern you want. Here's Urban Chic. Sorry, I almost dropped it. And then we also have It's a Breeze. We have more than this, which are on the website. We just thought we'd pull those three so you could take a look. And we also have three yard books. And the one cool thing about them now is they put all the patterns on the back. So you don't have to flip through the whole book to figure out if you have a pattern you want. You can find it right away. They also offer um, different sizes yeah. in you the directions. Can, they give you the sizes to make it a twin or a king queen. Twin being 62 by 83, king queen being 102 squared. And it basically means extending the pattern. That's what it does. The one quilt in here, which I want to show you a quick picture of, I absolutely love so much that I've done it like three times, is Best Friends. And I just. I think Brenda that. just did that one. Or yes, it was Brenda, you. No, Brenda and oh. I both did it at the same time. Um, I, she made hers the standard size, the lap or whatever you call it, throw. I made it twin size, which is just a matter of nor more half square triangles and squares, that's it. So I love, it's a quick, if you have a good friend that you wanna make a, a quilt for, or if you wanna make it for yourself. It's a, a very quick, very easy, you don't need any super special skills. Just be able to cut fabric and sew straight lines, that's it. So we have, we're, we're showcasing that because of our lovely example. And feel free to go online and look those up or come in the shop and see what we have. Okay? All right. I think now, this is called Happy Go Lucky, by the way, just so you know. Um, I'm going to have Tara do her demo, and I'll be the camera woman. I'm going to move this stuff. Okay, 
here we are. So I'll give you a little background on this. Um, our local library, which is called the Hoyt Library, which is a great place if you've never been there and you're local, um, <clears throat> every year they do a, a chair auction. And that is to benefit the friends of the library, of which my mom is a member. And so she has asked me, among other um, local businesses and organizations, to um, redo a chair. She brought the chair, and I just have to do something fun with it. And I thought, you know, I could just cover the seat with fabric or whatever, but I thought it might be neat to um, really put a quilting flare on it. And I happened to have both this ruler, which I'm going to hold up with this behind it so you can see it. This is called the Log Cabin Trim Tool. Is that okay, I mean? Yeah, we're getting a beautiful reflection of the window out there. Can you tip the top down a little more, a little more? There we go. There we go. Nice. So this is the wonky Log Cabin Ruler. And I had some really cool uh, Sorry. white home deck fabric, but it's a little bit thicker. It's a cotton linen blend, which by the way, we have some of this in the shop. And this is a nice, um, a little bit thicker fabric, maybe for purses or bags or chair cushions. So um, I thought I would combine the two. This ruler is uses two and a half inch strips. So that means it's jelly roll, roll friendly and it's not little tiny pieces. So um, the blocks go together really quickly. So I just wanted to show you how it works. Um, the first step that you're gonna do is to piece your, um, just your normal log cabin unit. So you're gonna have your center and then you're gonna piece your first light. And then going clockwise, you're gonna add your second light and then your first dark and then your second dark. And then you've got the first part done. It's just a normal, um, these are cut to size. The directions are come with the ruler, look like this. So it's a normal um, assembly of a log cabin. And then you put it down on your cutting mat. We're using the rotating cutting mat because it helps with um, cutting and turning. And you're gonna take this part that says round 1A. I also wanted to point out, um, you can see where this is frosted in these different spots. How is that? It's good, okay. you can see it. So wherever this is frosted, on the back is um, Creative Grid's signature feature, which is the... Um, grippy. Grippy, thank you. So that's gonna help hold your fabric down so it doesn't move. We're gonna set that round 1A square right on our center square here. And then we're gonna use our rotary cutter and we're gonna cut this way. And then we're gonna cut this way. So then we've got the first cut done. Then we're gonna turn this 180 degrees. I think I messed it up, but that's okay. Um, and we're gonna use round 1B. So there's the square for round 1B. And we're gonna put that on our center square like that. And then we're gonna cut once. Cut twice. And it's got another marking on here that's really helpful. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, Irene. Let me know. Um, do we have anything white to put behind it? Well, this isn't exactly white, but is that better, do you think? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe dark. There, now it shows up. Okay. So this square right here tells you if your square is the right size. And you can see these lines here. So this block one is the right size. So then you end up with this unit. Jeez, hang on. Oops. Almost got wound up there. So then the unit that I just showed you is right here. Hold this up a little bit here. So it looks like this. And then you just proceed as you would, adding first your first light, then your second light, and then your first dark and your second dark, put it down on the cutting mat. There's round 2A square right here that you line it up with. And then turn round 2B square right here. 
I just hung up on him. If we had a little uh, interruption, that's because my phone just rang. So um, sorry about that. Hopefully the sound is okay. Are we getting any comments that the sound is not okay? Not recently. All right, so that is called the Wonky Log Cabin Ruler. It's a 10 and a half inch square made from two and a half inch strips. And that is available in the shop or on the website. You can call if you want one, text, phone, email, whatever. So that is a fun, that's a fun block. This really, I did this yesterday afternoon or maybe it was the day before. I don't know, it wasn't yesterday, but it really only took an afternoon, which is good for me because I don't get much time that way. All right. And now Irene is going to tell you about another fun thing that we have coming up in June. She's got the uh, deer in the headlights look because she just doesn't remember. I thought you were doing that, but that's right. okay. Oh, and then Tara's going to tell you. <laughs> that's why she has a deer in the headlights. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to do this, so she's not going to. All right. So in June, we are participating. This is the third time we're doing this. And the Great Western New York Shop Hop which um, here's the, the poster. Um, it's also available online, on the email, on the Facebook page, on the website. And that is the Look. list of there all we are right there. 25 shops that are gonna be participating. It's gonna be a two week event and they have some really cool prizes. The grand prize basket includes 75 yards of fabric um, and I, I believe it's in one yard cuts so that you could put together a whole bunch of three yard quilts if you wanted to. That is gonna be drawn from only those who go to every single quilt shop on the list, which is 25. Um, if you hit all the North Loop, which um, by the way, that will be obvious on the passport when you pick it up. The Northern Loop um, participants I'm trying to read backwards, so don't move it. Northern Loop, over $250 value. Oh, that's a, a prize basket. That's the prize basket. Yeah. What for all 25 shops. Yep. Or for all 17, whatever numbers on the Northern Loop. Uh, South Loop is another basket. And then they have a pick 18 prize, which means maybe you don't want to get to all 25, but you're not going to do just one loop. So if you get to at least 18, You'll go on a different drawing, and that is going to be... For a four-person retreat from Fluffy's Quilt Patch Plus. Yeah, and that's in Canandaigua, so you get to take you and three friends on a retreat. It's a two-night retreat. And then there's a bonus prize because we have some shops that are um, kind of a, a distance away from the rest of us. So if you hit those two shops, I think? Three. three there's shops, three then you get to qualify for a $150 gas card. Which makes sense, because you're gonna burn a lot of gas trying to get to them all. Yep, so that's gonna be a really fun event. Um, we are looking forward to it, and I just, can I have this back? Yes, you may. I just wanna point out to those of you who are watching, um, this begins on the first, and then six or seven days later, our street is gonna be closed for two days for a strawberry festival. So. Um, if you are doing this and you want to come and have some cool fair food and um, a lot of walking, a lot of walking because we don't know, I still don't know what streets are going to be closed. I'm going to find that out from the um, director of the DPW today. Um, if you want to come and enjoy that, then come that weekend and we'd love to have you and we'll be here and open. And um, But if you'd like to avoid that, then I would advise that. You don't come that weekend because it's going to be Friday and Saturday. We're not going to be open on Sundays. So um, just I wanted everyone to be aware. And I'm not sure where the parking is going to be. We are going to get that ironed out. But there, there's some mixed messages that I've heard. So they, they probably have it figured out. Is this out. the food court know. again or is this just general? Irene's asking if the food court is going to be on East Bank. And I don't know, but I can't imagine they would change it. It's been that way since uh, the dawn of time. That was in high school, at least. And in the courtyard, in the courthouse yard, is our other crafts yep. and things. So if yes. you really like that, you might want to come. Yes. But plan on it being a very, 
you'll be here longer than just popping in and getting your passport stamped because yes. you'll have to walk and you'll want to see everything else. Yep. So. Yep. It's a super fun day. The whole town is buzzing and um, it's really fun. But if you aren't into that, then I just want to let you know. I was going to say something. Oh, um, yes, that's what I was going to say. We are extending our hours for this shop hop. And let me, I don't want to misquote myself here. So we are going to be open Tuesdays and Fridays, or Thursdays and Friday. Let me read this with my glasses. <laughs> Tuesdays and Fridays are normal hours, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Because no one wants to stay late on a Friday, right? Wednesdays and Thursdays in the middle of the week, we're going to be open 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. because we are right in the middle of this map. And we wanted to give people an opportunity, say they're coming from Buffalo and they're going to Rochester and they want to catch us on the way back, they can do that if they can get here by 7 p.m. on those two days in the middle of the week. Um, Saturdays, we're also extending our hours. They're normally 10 to 2, and we are doing it um, 10 to 4, so that there'll be a couple more hours on Saturdays too. So um, if you are someone who works and likes to come late um, and you don't want to do the shop hop, these are the dates that that's going to be available for you. So just wanted to let you know on all the details and we're really excited about this. We'll probably be talking about it the next couple of weeks, but um, we just wanted to let you know. All right, now. Now it's me, I right? I have something to say. Okay. All right, I'm going to switch spots. And... By the way, those of you who are watching the comments, when it's, when Irene's up there, obviously she can't be commenting. So. It's me. But it looks like I am. But it appears to be my like computer up so Kara can respond. Yeah. So, but I appreciate that. Um, Amy, you had a comment about why don't we put a tent in the courtyard? That's because we're too busy working here. So um, we want to leave that for vendors who are in town that want to come and, and sell their wares here. We're right here. So you guys can just take a walk. You're going to come down and get food anyway. So we're right here. You just might have to walk behind some vendors to get to us. All right, um, the first thing I wanna talk about is item of the month. And it's near and dear to my heart, which is EQ8. Um, I know you know this, but I'll tell you again, my sister Beverly and I went to a workshop in Ohio and it was a, a twofer because we went to the workshop and then we went and visited my baby boys and my baby girl, and um, had a wonderful time figuring it out. Um, I've had it for a while now and haven't done anything with it. It took a workshop for me to really understand what I was doing. I knew basics, but even that, you know, the time gets away from me and I forget. So we went to this workshop and our, our First two days, it was two and a half days. Our first two days were very intense um, and we learned a lot and I feel much more confident. The third day we in the morning, we took um, another class on borders and I thought, you know, I already know about borders. No, I didn't. I didn't know anything about borders. So it was very, very helpful. Um, if you are at all interested in designing your own, then you're going to want to know how to use EQ8. If you want to put your own fabrics in there, you can download pictures of your own fabrics and actually put them into your quilt to see what it's going to look like. Um, so I strongly suggest, and we have it as an item of the month. It's normally $239.95 and we have it for $191.95. And that's a heck of a deal. Even if you get it just to goof around with your own, it's so much fun, but you gotta be careful. Don't start something later in the evening because you won't go to bed, okay? I started one at eight o'clock once and I was up till 12.30. And if you know me, I'm not a late night person. So, now. Also, we're gonna be offering that workshop. Yes, and we are also gonna offer a workshop Okay, not a class, because you I believe you have to be certified to teach the class. We're going to offer a workshop where we all get together and we share what knowledge we have. Um, Alice Dunn is more knowledgeable than I am, um, but I'm, I'll be here too, and um, we'll try to show you how to work through it. 
They also have incredible videos that you will have access to that show you how to do things. And, and some of the videos are taught by the woman that taught us. So um, actually both women have videos on the site. But we're gonna do a workshop and it might be a monthly thing or we're waiting to see what you guys really want. So if you buy this, you're not gonna be all on your own. Okay, you have the online stuff and you have us. Online's a little more knowledgeable, but we're here and in person. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, class is coming up. Oh, we didn't talk about, we have one on Saturday, but that one's full, that's Stack and Whack. If you are interested in Stack and Whack, we can run it again. I just need to know, we've already run it like three or four times, a couple times they had to get moved due to once COVID and once weather, and it was just crazy. Um, but if we still have interest, I'll ask Miss Barbara to run it again. We also have To Be Blessed. I believe the first one was, is tomorrow. Yep. Is that full? No, neither of them are full. Okay, this was postponed from last week due to um, our lovely teacher, Linda Luther, couldn't be in town. So it was postponed and we actually set up two. One is tomorrow during the day and the other one is the following Tuesday. Tuesday in the evening. So if you prefer evening classes or need to do evening classes because you work, they both have slots. So you'd be welcome to sign up on the website and or come in or give us a call or whatever. Okay, this is adorable. This is just, this is from Patch Abilities. And it looks like this. And we have kits. So we have kits available. This one has the hanger and everything. And buttons, hanger and buttons. And buttons. We also have a kit without the paraphernalia. That's less expensive. Okay, because you're not buying the hanger and the buttons. So this is tomorrow and Tuesday. Then Stack and Whack, again, is full, but if you are interested in Stack and Whack, just haven't gotten to any of the classes yet, please let us know and we'll offer it again. If not, we'll give it a rest for a little while. And we're creating um, waiting lists for, for yes. anything. So if you're interested in any of our classes and want to be put on the wait list, um, call us or... I. Irene doesn't even know this. I just figured out how to do it. So I'm <laughs> kind of excited about it. All right. In the computer, I mean. So we have wait lists. Um, the one thing I want to ask, and Tara doesn't know I'm going to say this, is, is anyone interested in doing a jelly roll rug? I have taught it five or six times. We took, we've taken off some time. Um, but if you're interested, the next set of classes go from September to December. Jelly Roll Rug is an awesome gift. It's an expensive gift, but it's an awesome gift because when you finish it, it's done. You don't have to have it quilted. You don't have to bind it. You don't have to do any of that. So if, if there's interest in a Jelly Roll Rug class, again, I would be more than happy to put it on the schedule. If not, we'll let it ride for a little bit longer. But I do have a couple I need to get done. So um, let us know. And that is true of anything. If you see something that you would be interested in, please let us know. We don't know what to offer if you don't tell us what you want. So give us, I'm not guaranteeing we can do it, <laughs> but we'll try. That's where the jelly roll bar came from, was my dear friend Melanie. So, all right. Now we can do three, two, one, correct? Yes. All right. If you're not familiar with three, two, one, it, we always finish up with this, and it's basically super sales, I call them. Okay? Three is three yards. Three dollars. Three dollars per, oh my gosh. Three dollars per yard. There, I'll get it eventually. Let's show this side. It's a little easier to see it. And we have this. And you can buy, this is a great way to get backings. This is a great way to get, I don't know, anything. If you just, if you like it. 
And by the way, I'm looking at it through the phone. And to me, from looking at the screen versus the actual fabric, the screen looks a little more vibrant. This is a little more soft than what it's showing on the screen. Mm -hmm. Just in case anyone's wondering. It's one of those fabrics that I didn't even know we had. It's easy to bypass when you only see this much of it. Mm -hmm. But it's very pretty. And if you're into the softer color, like I said, a backing would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Would be perfect. That's $3 per yard, both in store and on the website. Okay? Two, I gotta dig through our demo here. Two are these pads. And they're, they're the same one. We have two left. So they are $2 each. If you're interested in this, it requires one jelly roll, three fourth yard background, five eight yard sashing, one and three eight yard setting triangles and inner border, seven eight, wow, there's a lot. Seven eight outer border, five eight yards binding, and three and a half yard backing. And it turns out to be 56 by 70. So these patterns are $2. And when they're gone, they're gone. Because that's all we have. That's why they're number two. And then our one is our is a pattern we only have one of. And it's little Katie. There's just one left. We're selling it for half price for $3.25. It is uh, GE Designs. You would need the... Stripology Mini in order to finish it. And it uses five inch squares. So charm packs or just spare fabric you have. Um, very often when I am making a quilt, when I finish, if I've only got a little left, I make whatever size squares I can get. So I have a bin that has five inch squares, six inch squares, and then most of them are two inch squares, maybe two and a half inch squares. So if you have a bunch of five inch squares, this is perfect. And I have it, it was done in um, very springy pastel colors. It's very pretty. And it's not super big, it's 14 by 35, but great pattern, great pattern. So that's our three, two, one. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. Do we have any questions from the gallery here? I see Eamon Seaman says that the um, the $3 yard fabric looks like linen on the screen. Oh, it does. It does, but it's not. It's 100% cotton. Yeah, but it does look like linen because it's kind of got a grunge background. If you can see it right there, it's got like a grunge background mm -hmm. with um, the flowers and the berries. And it's really pretty. The more I look at it, the more I really like it. So you better get in here if you want it yeah. because Irene might be taking it home. I won't let her take it home today, though. Save my bank account and come get it. So um, just want to reiterate, pajama day, it's so much fun. For those early birds out there, 7 o'clock, coffee shop will be open. We might even make arrangements to have the door open. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. So that you don't even have to go outside. You can, you can shop and you can go get your coffee. In your pajamas. In your jammies. That way you won't be seen walking down the street in your jammies. So, and it's 7 o'clock in the morning. How many people are going to be out there to see you in your jammies? So, I'm looking forward to it. I went out and bought new jammies. I'm not going to wear these. I, oh, sorry. I just hit my mic. I'm not going to wear these. I bought brand new jammies to wear. And they're so pretty. So, please come in and see us. And 30% off is crazy. You can get something you've been looking for, something you didn't even know you wanted, kits. We got tons of kits. You could get those for 30% off. Any merchandise is 30% off. So please think about it. Join us. You can join us. You don't have to come at seven. You can still get discounts until 10. So you could walk in at quarter to 10 and get a discount. Bev says, make sure that you warn the folks in the coffee shop that you'll all be in your pajamas. <laughs> I think maybe we don't warn them know, and see what they say. Shopping. See how long it takes them to make a comment. No, so I know Colin <laughs> watches us sometimes. So oh, shoot. Know. Okay. Yeah. So he, he likes might. to see what other entrepreneurs are doing. So. so, Deb, if you're watching, don't tell Colin about this one. <laughs> 
Ah. We'll see if we can surprise them with a pajamas. And we have a door. We have a door. We can scoot right in there. It's yep. awesome. It's, it's handy. And I'm going to I'm gonna pan over right, and show on. them the door. As my Don't mind the said, painting tools. We are the, uh, we are the Albion Mall. There's the uh, secret door to the coffee shop. Coffee, coffee joint and, and town and country quilt shop make the mall. Um, well, and then you could... Uh, Maryland's is... You can get to oh, hair fantasy true. too. You could if you yep. if you wanted to, if you wanted to get your hair cut, get your coffee, and, and get your. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All good. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, if no one has any questions, or we may have missed comments here and there because it is just the two of us. I hope Brenda's having a wonderful time, and it's a little warmer now that the sun's out. It's a little chilly this morning, so um, please ask, please call, please check out the website. Okay. You have a great day, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.